December 19th, 2012, and another chapter in the Rollstone Bank and Trust Building. If you notice the picture quality is a little less than usual, that's because my TX10 died. Fortunately, I have my bloggy as a backup. And we're going to show you the progress. And here we go. We have the walls being framed in. And on the lower levels, we've got some of the uh, blue backer board going up. And we got some plywood going around the upper level there. The cantilever is really taking its shape. And directly in front of us, and I'm surprised it's as close as it is, because it looks kind of cramped quarters. Pardon the aim. There's the elevator shaft uh, right there at the front door. And now they're starting to put in stairs, which is barely visible there. But for the most part, the interior is pretty much empty still. There again are the stairs. And there again is the elevator shaft, which they did not get very far on as of yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the other side and see what we got. Here we are on the back side of the building. It doesn't look too much different. I mean, we can see some wind bracing on the far right. Thin uh, slit windows on the side facing the woodblock building over there. But this is the progress we have thus far. And I think they might be putting stairs on this side as well. So let's see what happens. Uh, couple of weeks from now. As you can probably see, it's snowing. There's a big storm coming. There was a big storm before, hence the snowfall. And the people building the new Rollstone Bank and Trust building here at downtown Lemonster wanted the whole exterior completely buttoned up before this happened. Well, fail. However, it's not a total fail. They got most of the exterior done outside of the finishing touches. I mean, yeah, the stair stairwell portion, not so much. I mean, they just need doors and windows, and they could call it good enough. Anyway, we're going to do this in reverse order, because I'm sure you like to actually see it from a distance in terms of the front. We've only seen the back from a distance. And one of the things I find interesting is on the woodblock side of the building, we got the narrow slit windows. Now, a lot of people here, I've heard say that this is kind of too big for downtown. Well, I get it. Remember, the original woodblock building extended out as far as this building did. And it was almost as tall as this. There were a lot of buildings almost this tall in Monument Square part of the city. So, it actually does fit that way. How the exterior is going to look, we don't know. That drawing's been wrong already. And as you can see, the interior, not much of anything. Better look at the stairs on the inside that they've started. Can't see if they've done it on the other side, you know, that stairwell. And as we come around and we have to talk because people like to play music really loud thinking, hey, I'm cool, let's blast our music. Here we are again. It, we get a better look inside. And if the camera wants to focus, which, well, it's a Sony, of course it won't. There's, I think they're starting some HVAC work. I'm not 100% sure on that. And there's the elevator shaft, which I believe they may have finally gone all the way up. It looks like they have. I mean, I can only, I can't see above that, you know, the uh, cantilever, but the brick is complete there, and it's obviously been, been completed there, as well as the basement, if the thing serves the basement, I can't see why not, because there is uh, space there as well. So let's go across the street and see what this looks like. 
I thought I'd give you a few different angles. We normally don't see the building. This is downtown heading towards the square itself. Here it is much closer. You know, it is kind of a throwback to the older days, believe it or not, because this street used to be lined with buildings almost as tall as the wood block, which is on the left. And here's one other look at the front. As you can see, like I said, almost as tall as the wood block, and is kind of a throwback. I mean, the architecture style isn't. Anyway, let's see what happens after this, a couple weeks down the road, shall we? January 14, 2013. First update in the new year. They moved quite a bit on this property. They're already doing brick. So you can see there, there's the elevator shaft again. Don't have to zoom in, there's nothing really to see there. No guide rails or anything. And they're putting brick on the elevator shaft side. It's all pretty much at the same distance, partially up. And one thing we can see is, in what few spaces we really can, they have, st they have framed in some of the office space for this building. And I think that's all we can really see because where there are windows, they've tarped over with opaque tarping. Oh, look at that, a, uh, uh, what, gas tank of some sort. Propane, I believe. And I don't know what's under that tarp. But, and it's pretty much what we can see, so that's it for this update. I've been on the back a couple days ago. It's the same as you see now. And because of this black tarp, we can't really see what's going on in there. February 1st, 2013, and the last update in this episode of the Rollstone Bank & Trust building project. And here's the building as of now. As you can see, whenever the weather is warm enough to warrant exterior work, they're doing the exterior for the cantilever, which looks like so. And as you can see, they're finally getting to windows, which they could use on the other floors, because black, I don't think that was the best of ideas. Unless the sole purpose of that is the sun generating heat by hitting that. Anyway, as you can see, we got some of the brick done. The front is completely closed off. We can't see anything there. They took down the sign as to what the building's going to look like, so can't point out the discrepancies. Obviously, the picture was concept drawing when they were pitching the idea. Here we can see what the brick fake brick columns look like, and they got the, uh, yeah, and they have, uh, applied something to attach the, uh, the exterior. It's probably going to be the same as what's used on the cantilever above. And the weather's been really cold as of late, so whenever they get a warm spell, they start working on that. Ooh, I smell something that's not very legal. Anyway, let's go around here, take a look in the back. Alrighty, no windows here, and as you can see, they're doing a fake brick column over there. And apparently, they're going to do the slate or whatever, kind of keep things in line with the width of the windows here. And this was all tarped off. There's a piece of a tarp right there. So, I mean, wherever they can, and it's not very often, they try to do work. And over here we've got one of those uh, propane tanks pumping in heat. And again, we got more of the fake brick. 
I mean, brick might be real, but the columns are fake. And here we go again, the cantilevers with one window in. And that'll be it for this particular episode. Stay tuned for the next one, which I believe we will have a final building the next time around. And before we go off, there's the uh, back door entrance, as you can see by the black, uh, you know, the weatherproofing. This is uh, probably going to be a public entrance. So that'll be it for now. Have a good one.